Hey, hi friends. Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about self versus self in Swift. So one which starts with a small s and one which starts with capital S. Now this is like one of the questions that is generally asked in an interview and you know, sometimes we might get confused. So let's study this topic very well so that next time when you face this question, you're always able to answer this. So this small self is one which you might be using multiple time in the project. And this capital self is used a very little or in very specific scenario. So what is this small self? So the self with a lower case is basically an instance or we can say that a property of an instance and can be object of class, it can be also object of structures. And the capital S, this self, this basically de denotes a type. Okay. Now, let's see that in which scenario we use self with a smaller s and in which scenario we use self with capital S. Now, let's say for example, if I declare a struct, uh, it's a person, the common struct, and here I have a name as an argument. And inside this, I have a init method. Now, if you see that, when we write this init method, the compiler automatically is introducing this self keyword, which is basically the instance of this person. Now, is this self required all the time? The answer is that it's required only when your argument is name and your property name both are same. Because see, when you write this without this self keyword, the compiler will get confused between this name and this name because both are same so it, it will not be, be able to differentiate between that okay so see if I change one of the argument then in that case we don't require to use self here also only in the scenario when both are same and it's not just the example of a structure it can be inside your function inside class anywhere so when you are differentiating between your local property and the properties at the at your class level or at a structure level then you need to use self keyword okay so that's one scenario where we use self a uh, very common okay now let's see uh, the another scenario where we, we use uh, self and that is basically in the extensions so let's say for example if you write extension of a string okay and here you write that function is a string valid okay and my simple scenario is that if the string contains more than three character, then it's a valid string. So what I can write, I can write that written or let me just return have a boolean here also. So return self dot count. Now what is this self? This self will be basically the uh, this string from where I will be calling this string valid function. Okay, is greater than three. Okay. Now, if let's say that here, if I have to write a function is a valid name, so how I can check it? I can just print, for example, print name dot is a string valid. Okay. So see, you are not passing anything inside this function. What is happening that the it is being called on this property which is basically the string and that's the reason that I have defined here this string okay and then this self will actually denote the name value in that case okay so these two are the very uh, common scenario let's now let's see the third scenario where basically we use it on the closure also okay so for that let's me come to this example here and let me define a simple closure here so I'll just write a dummy function And I'm not going to return anything. It will just be a dummy. Okay. And here I'll just call this. Now I will have another function. Let's say for example, handle. Now what I'm going to do, let's call this dummy function. Okay. And inside that, when you write handle, 
the compiler will throw you error to use the self reference okay see call to method handle in closure requires explicit use of cell to make capture semantic explicits okay and and this is required only when the closure is a escaping type it's if it is a non escaping type you don't need to use the self keyword let's say that if i delete this escaping keyword you'll see that the error will go away okay if you want to find more on this escaping and non escaping closure i'll give the video description in the link you can watch there so let me just use the escaping keyword and here now we can use the self now generally we don't want to capture the strong reference so we can use a weak reference of it okay so that's one of the scenario inside the closures where you will be using the weak uh, sorry where you will be using the self keyword okay now this all about the small self keyword okay now one thing i need to tell more that we unnecessarily use self keyword in the places where it is not required also for example let's say that if i want to call a handle function from here let's just comment it i just want to call this function okay now here i can call this directly you don't need to explicitly write it here self dot handle okay now let's see the self as a type that's the use case of capital self okay now let me just write a a line of code here all uh, only that let's say that if i have something static where where uh, country and this country let's say that you are building application just for india so here i'm just defining this as india okay now here i want to print function print complete address so here if i need to write let's say that just giving the print statement so print so name lives in and then the country okay now if you write the country let's say that will the compiler give any error or it takes by default so if you see that it gives you error that it's telling that a static member country cannot be used an instance type person because this function is non static and this country is basically static so so here there are two scenarios one thing is that you can write person dot country okay which is basically that person type and instead of person i can also write capital self dot country now what this capital self will no like till here this capital self will be actually this person type okay okay this is again one of one of the scenario where i can use self as a type not as a object okay now let's see one more example so here you can see that i have uh, basically created a button in my view controller and uh, i have another xiv where i want to navigate on this click of this button okay now for that what i have to do i have to write a code to load my xibs from and then i can like you no know, present or push anything whatever i can do i can do on that now if let's say that i want to write some generic code to load the xibs like i just want, i will just give the pass my class uh, view controller name and it will return me the view controller object so for that what i can do i can write extension of uh, ui view controller okay so if you see here that i have just written extension of ui view controller where i have a static function which i can call directly from my uh, class without creating any object of that class and you can see that here this is using capital self so basically this will be returning a object which will be of type of ui view controller okay and uh, again here this i'm taking a generic parameter and then i'm just creating the nib this is again a generic code uh, which we uh, no like used to create a nib uh, property and then bundle is nil because i'm assuming that my code is running everything in the same bundle i don't have 
multiple projects in the in, in the case that if you have multiple projects you can even take the bundle uh, as an argument okay now and then finally i'm just returning it and here if you can you see this this self is basically uh, the instance not uh, basically the type okay so now let me create this object so let's say that let vc equals to home view controller and then i can directly write home view controller dot this method name and then again see no need of writing here self dot uh, sorry self dot present vc animated true so here there is no requirement of self so we can avoid it completely writing self wherever it is not required okay so remember that this smaller self is an object and this capital self is a type okay so that's all for today's video hope you enjoy this video and if you really enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe the channel thank you